Hey guys, it's Robin, your independent Sensi consultant. Welcome back and welcome if you're new. Today I've got a short what I've been warming video. This is the video where I go through what I've been warming in my house over the last little wee while and let you know what I've been warming, where I've been warming it, how it's performing and all of that good stuff. This week, maybe about four times a year, I get into like a very use up all my vendor wax mode. So this week I've got like maybe 50-50 Sensi to vendor wax. Um, I do mostly use Sensi in general by far. Um, but I do have a stash of vendor wax that is either gifted to me or that I do order and I do like to work through that as well. So this is me kind of pruning through some of that as well. Um, but yeah, I did do a what I've been warming just a few days ago. That had been filmed a while back. So just the way the timing and the uploading went, it seems like it's only been a few days, but it's actually been like over a week. So there we go. Um, some sensey housekeeping news. It is Saturday as I'm filming this. And on Monday, we have a few launches coming up. So the first one is consultant only. So consultants on Monday, the 25th, 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, will be able to purchase the holiday bricks. Those will be available for everyone else sometime next month or in October. But for now, they're going to be consultant only. And so you can order either bundles of two or you can order the pack of five. So I will be ordering the pack of five to review for you all and let you know how they do and what I think. Um, for everybody, there are a couple other launches coming up. So if you remember quite some time ago, we did bring back my washer whiff voting. That was, I think in early spring, I want to say maybe March ish, there was bring back my washer whiff voting. And that was super exciting. So the three winning scents were ocean, which is kind of like an aquatic type scent, a really, really nice aquatic scent, uh, shimmer, which is like a perfumey feminine type scent. And and coconut cotton. And that one is kind of a almost like earthy musky coconut scent with like a freshness to it. It's a very nice like line dried, sun dried cotton coconut scent. It's very, very pretty. So those are the three scents that will be available in Bring Back My Washer Whiffs. The way they're doing this, because this is the first time they've ever done it, is you can't buy the big tubs. It's only going to be the smaller size tubs, um, but they come in a two pack. So whatever scent you choose, either ocean, shimmer, or coconut cotton, you get two of each scent of whatever scents you want. So you can't mix and match. If you buy shimmer, you're getting two shimmer. If you buy ocean, you're getting two ocean. Um, so you can buy as many as you want, but you are getting two of the scent of your choice, um, whichever scent you choose. So I'll be ordering a couple of those for sure, and I'm excited to stock up on washer whiffs. In the catalog for fall winter, we have white amber and teak as a new laundry scent. White Amber Antique personally isn't my favorite, so I passed on the laundry line in White Amber Antique, but I also knew that Bring Back My Washer Whiffs was coming up, and there is an Arctic Kiss LTO in the holiday collection coming out October 1st that I'm also very excited for in laundry. So lots of good laundry stuff, even if the catalog new release isn't your thing. Another thing that they have launching on Monday that none of us knew about until Thursday was the Open Plains collection. So there is going to be, if you remember maybe a month or two ago, there was a cowboy hat warmer and it sold out in like a day. It was wildly popular. It came out with like sheer leather, I think, was what happened there. They're doing something similar this time, except this time, instead of a cowboy hat warmer, it is a like cattle skull type warmer. So it's very like rustic, very like, you know, Southwestern themed, cowboy themed, Texas themed kind of style. Um, that is gonna suit many different aesthetics. It probably doesn't go with my pumpkin decor here, but I think for many, many homes and many, many like interior decor styles, that's going to be a very popular warmer. Um, it does have a four bar bundle as well. You can either purchase the warmer and the bars together, or you can purchase just the bars if you don't want the warmer. The bars are going to be weathered leather inspired. They are not weathered leather. None of them is weathered leather. But if you're a fan of weathered leather, or if you're a fan of those like leathery, tobacco-y, kind of like, you know, maybe slightly masculine potentially type scents, this bar might be up your alley. I think there are four different scents. I'll put them below here and um, run through the notes, the scent descriptions as we go. I'm probably gonna pass on that collection myself because I tend to not care for those types of scents. They're just not my thing. And so I'm probably gonna pass on those. So watch for reviews from other consultants on that pack. But I think what I might do, there's one I think called, I can't remember what it's called. The, the last one of the bundle though, has I think like woods and vanilla and sugar cane. That one, what I might do is add it to my club for my next shipment and then just get one bar that way and try it out because that one does intrigue me. <laughs> Again, if you're into those leather type scents, those kind of like maybe slightly masculine leaning scents, if you like weathered leather, 
if you have a kind of rustic home decor scheme or if you have a western or southwestern type home decor scheme that warmer might be really really interesting to you so check it out if you are and i do suspect that warmer will probably go quickly because the cowboy hat sold out so fast so if you do want that warmer i would say be on at 10 a.m you never know i mean maybe they have a ton of stock of it i'm not sure what the stock levels are but i do know the cowboy hat that was kind of along the same line sold out very quickly so that is all happening monday morning at 10 a.m pacific standard time now into what i've actually been warming so in my daughter's room We've done a few things. Most recently, we did the rest of Dream Big Princess. This is one she has been requesting all the time. This one was available for just a few weeks a while back. This one is like bubblegum, orange, lemon, um, coconut cream, vanilla, I think it is. Yeah, and like it's got like a perfumey musk to it as well. It's kind of sweet, kind of citrusy, very girly, um, very, very nice. Good performer in her room and like maybe like a medium strength. Like medium strength goes for a day or two. Very, very nice, and she loves this. So that has been a very popular one for her. Next, we did one cube in her room of Fall Eats. This is from Zape. This was actually a gift from my friend Melissa quite some time ago, and I've really, really enjoyed this bar. I've been kind of like hanging onto it, savoring it. This one is pumpkin waffles, espresso, whipped cream, and crushed pecans, or pecans. This one is pumpkin pecan waffles and like coffee. It is such a good scent, and it's so strong and so, so good. So this one I'm probably going to save for like my open layout next because this one's really, really good and very strong. So in her room, this threw like a beast. It was amazing. I would say strong performance. Wafted out into the hallway for sure. Um, went for two days before she wanted the princess one put in. So it had a little bit of life left into it when I took it out, but not a whole lot. But it would have gone for probably three days. But she wanted Disney princesses. So this was very, very good. Really, really enjoyed it. I strongly recommend Fall Eats if you ever see it. And Zape Wax, I find, in general, needs to cure. Um, when I first get them, they tend to be on the light side, but they do cure, and they do need to sit for like a year to get strong. But I really enjoy that one. So there's that. Next, we did a Scentsy one. This is Frightfully Delightful, the Disney Harvest Bar. This one, I think, is like Georgia Peach, Pumpkin, yeah, Brown Sugar, and maybe Vanilla. This one is sweet and gooey and decadent. Just decadent, sweet, gooey brown sugar. Very, very good. Very strong. I would say like 7 out of 10 in her bedroom with the two cubes and goes for about a day. It's not like a crazy long laster. It's like a one day, 24 hour type scent, but really good while it lasts. And we do enjoy that one. I I, I don't know. I think I have two more bars of this. I wasn't going to repurchase it, but I, I'm not sure. I might grab one more bar. We'll see. We're really enjoying this. She loves it. Then in her room, we did another Zape one. This is one I had purchased last fall. This is Butter Brew, and it is Bonfire Roasted Marshmallows, Creamy Butterscotch, and Brown Sugar. I think it's supposed to be like a spin on Harry Potter Butterbeer, and that's why I got it. Um, so I've now done this twice. I'm only counting the time in my daughter's room because that's the only time that's finished. So we did one cube in my daughter's room. This has been sitting for about a year. I would say it was a light intensity. Um, you could smell it. It was on the light side. It was just kind of a creamy, soft, sweet, butterscotchy scent. Very pleasant, um, but not very strong. Definitely a one dare. I would say less than 24 hours even. I would say like 12. Yeah, and I have just put two cubes in my bedroom of this. I can't report. It's not even melted yet, so I can't report on how it's doing yet, but I will let you know. So there is that one. I really like the scent. Performance is not awesome, but enjoying the scent. Next up in my office, I did a single Yankee Candle Wax Melt from my friend Emily. This one was Honeycrisp Apple Cider. And I don't have the clam, but I have the little label that came on it. Honeycrisp Apple Cider. This one was just kind of a vaguely sweet apple scent. I don't know if it's if I waited too long to melt it or what's going on, but I didn't get a whole lot of throw from this one. It was pleasant enough. I just didn't get a whole lot of throw. And I would say it only lasted a few hours. So there was Honeycrisp Apple Cider. And again, that may have just sat too long in my stash. So I like the scent. I just wish I'd gotten more throw payoff from that one, but it was pleasant enough. So thank you, Emily. I did enjoy melting that. And then from my friend Becky, I had gotten a sample of Harper James Irresistible. And it's eerie like the lake or like the, the word eerie. This one is zucchini bread, pumpkin buttercream, clove, smoke, and nutmeg. And this one is just fall. This is just fall. It is sweet and fun. Yeah, zucchini bread is kind of what I get the most of. It's very sweet. The spice here is very like laid back and not super hot spicy. 
So really enjoyed that actually. Did one of these cubes in my office. And again, short duration. I do find Harper James to be a shorter duration wax, but it's a very nice like solid medium intensity and very, very pleasant. So really liked that. Thank you, Becky. I enjoyed that. Okay. Next in bathrooms. In our bathroom, I did two cubes of Scentsy's Whipped Vanilla Lavender. This was in the catalog for spring summer as our lavender type scent. It is not in the fall winter catalog. We have French lavender instead. I personally prefer French lavender. This one has a kind of powdery tone to it. It's okay. It's fine. Um, it was kind of clean, just kind of pleasant, nice bathroom scent. Not super long lasting or strong, but this one is nice for like a bedroom if you want just kind of a soft background scent. This one does do a nice job of that. For bathrooms, I tend to prefer a strong, long-lasting scent because um, I don't like to fiddle with bathroom wax daily um, like I do with my open layout, <laughs> but this one was kind of a one-dayer. So I did two cubes in my bathroom. It was pleasant, but it was a one-dayer. Would I ever purchase whipped vanilla lavender? Um, not as long as lavender, not as long as French lavender is available. If French lavender was not available, I might, but otherwise I do prefer French lavender. Then from Nostalgia & Co, this is a Canadian vendor in Ontario, nostalgiaandco.ca. This is so fresh. This one is a very soapy kind of like, soapy aquatic is what I would say what this one is. Soapy aquatic laundry. It is like a white floral laundry scent, kind of along the lines of like clothesline. If you like mixed clothesline with By the Sea from Scentsy, that's kind of I feel like what you'd get. Because By the Sea to my nose is kind of like a soapy aquatic and then clothesline's like a very strong, strong laundry scent and I feel like that's kind of like a combination of these here. Um, it's super strong. The performance on this was wild. So I did one cube in our guest bathroom. This went for four days and it was still at a solid medium when I took it out. I just wanted something else in there. It was really strong. So very strong, very long lasting performance. You cannot get better bang for your buck than this. This was a fantastic performer. Um, this was one that she sent to me. I have since repurchased from this brand. I do really like her wax. Yeah, I would highly recommend Nostalgia Co. as a brand. This particular scent just isn't my style. I don't tend to like aquatics and I don't tend to like laundry scents. However, for the bathroom or laundry room, this was a fantastic performer and it is one of those set it and forget it scents. It will go for days. So very, very good performer. Very, very good scent to most noses. It's pleasant to my nose as well. It's well done. It's well blended. And I do enjoy the decoration on the bar. But that one for me, I... I may pass this along. I think we're doing a um, red, red robin, round robin, round robin um, in the next few months or so with the Canadian YouTube community for wax people. And I might pass this along because I do really like this bar and I think someone else would, would give it a better home because while I love it and the performance is fantastic, it's just not a scent for me. So that is so fresh and I would recommend Nostalgia and & Co. And I, and I have and will continue to repurchase from her. Next, we have a very old, very juicy bar of Autumn Stroll from Scentsy. This is like the retro packaging from back in the day. I got this on the black market a couple years ago. Um, this one is like probably the most juicy bar I've ever had. It is beet, but it still smells fantastic. Like this one has aged beautifully. So as juicy as it is, it is a soft, mellow, woodsy, slightly cologne but the cologne has taken a back seat over time and you're left with a very nice just like mellow woodsy scent it's beautiful um so i've got two cubes of this in the bathroom it's doing very nicely throwing like a solid medium maybe like a six out of ten and it's been going for a day already we'll probably keep going for a bit longer so there's that one so autumn stroll i can tell you now ages well ages very well um yeah so <clears throat> this did come back and bring back my bar I want to say about a year ago within the last couple rounds um and yeah it's very very nice so if you have this in your stash do know that it ages well and i i think i would like to warm this in my open layout next time it's just so mellow and like cozy and soft it's like slightly masculine but not in a cologne way in just the way that like probably a more senior gentleman would smell just naturally just kind of like spicy and soft and cozy is what this smells like i really really like that so that is autumn stroll Next in the open layout, I did a mix. Now I have had kind of a mixed performance from Forever Fall. This is in the current Harvest collection. This one is kind of a squashy brown sugar um, pumpkin scent. And then we have white pumpkin and driftwood, which I love. This one is kind of a like solar wood, amber pumpkin scent. This one is like 
a combination of warm, cozy, homey pumpkin and like cologne sophistication. This one is just straight up baked pumpkin and brown sugar. It's a little bit squashy. It's a little bit like homey and yeah. This one has less brown sugar and more squashy pumpkin than my previous bar did, I think. And I have since purchased another bar and my second bar, which I didn't care for, smells like the new bar. So I don't know. I think there might be different batches of this one. Um, some people are finding their second bar smells the same as the original bar they had that they did like. So I don't know. I'm smelling... this. The new bar I got is similar to the one I didn't care for. So I decided to mix this because I... Mm, no. So what I did with these two is I mixed them in the same warmer dish throughout my open layout. So four warmer dishes, equal parts of each of these in each warmer dish. So one cube of each combined in the same warmer dish throughout my open layout. This was such a good mix. Like I remember mixing this scent, white pumpkin and driftwood with apple and oats a couple weeks ago and I absolutely loved it. But apple and oats is hard to get your hands on right now. It's not available, hasn't been available in quite some time. Forever Fall is currently available and these two mixed together was very close to what I liked about apple and oats. So I think I prefer, I like this just as much as I enjoyed the apple and oats mix. Just the brown sugary pumpkin fallness mixed with the white pumpkin and driftwood works. So if you haven't tried that mix yet, I I highly recommend it. Like this wasn't just an okay mix. This was like a you need to try this mix. So white pumpkin and driftwood equal parts in the same dish with Forever Fall. These are both available right now. You might even have them in your wax dash right now. Try it. Trust me. It's so good. That one I strongly recommend. So if you have Forever Fall and you're kind of on the fence about it, or if you have white pumpkin and driftwood and you're on the fence about it, try mixing them. It's like a whole different scent. It's amazing. So that was fantastic. Strongly recommend. And I have for the time being clubbed white pumpkin and driftwood. This is such a unique scent. We have nothing else like it and I really really like it. Um, Forever Fall. I might grab one or two more bars just to mix with because I am really enjoying this mix and I think this would mix well with other stuff too. So there's that. Then I did a bar of cider mill. So today is the first day of fall. Um, I have a bar of first day of fall but I didn't really feel like it today. But I did feel like cider mill. This one is like pumpkin, apples, and like simmering spices. Oh, so good. This one is like bright and cidery without being like a heavy deep spice. It's just bright and cidery and like very blue skies daytime cidery. Really enjoy that. This one is just, and this one has aged for about a year. This one's not a brand new bar. It's been sitting in my stash for a bit. It's nice and strong, was strong out the gate. Usually this is kind of like a about a medium intensity, but this particular bar is like a 7 out of 10 in strength. It's doing very well um, and I'm really enjoying it. So that is Cider Mill. Then I did, this one is a gift from my friend Emily as well. This is from Zape. This one is Pepper Alley. This is dried leaves, autumn air, smoky bonfires, and sweet tobacco. This one was really lovely. So this one was two fairly large shapes so I cut them in half and did both in my open layout, kind of like half a chunk in each warmer. This was very nice and I would say like a solid medium intensity, maybe like a six and a half, seven out of ten. It is like smoky and leafy and almost like blue sugar. Like I almost get like just something very ever so slightly masculine but in like a sweet cozy way. So if I had to guess maybe there's blue sugar in here. It could just be the sweet tobacco though mixed with like the smoky bonfires and the leaves. Like this was like crunchy and fallish and just a little bit sophisticated with that kind of like slightly masculine note cozy and crispy and fallish but like warm and deep really really nice so that was pep rally i would recommend that and i would probably purchase that again um that did very well this was like a 36 hour scent in my open layout really enjoyed it so thank you emily next is one i grabbed from ella after wax co this is teacher's pet this one is apple fritters and peeps glaze peeps are like those little marshmallow chicks so like a marshmallow glaze and apple fritters which sounds amazing and it is. This one smells so wonderful, like just wonderful, like glazed apple fritters. So wonderful. Now this comes in like a fairly large muffin type style, like a, like a muffin thing. So I cut the muffin into four chunks and spread it in my open layout, whole thing, whole pack. Um, this one was amazing for like four or five hours and then it was just gone, like just gone. Now this one was kind of light when I first got it, so I did set it aside and I thought, well, apple fritters with the spicy notes and stuff are probably going to get a little bit deeper and richer with time. 
maybe it just needs to age. Vendor wax especially sometimes does need to age. So I did um, let this sit for like eight or nine months. Um, and it did seem stronger on cold than it, in, than it initially did. But this one just did not perform well for me. It was again, like a good solid medium for a few hours and then it was just gone. So that was kind of disappointing because I loved this one. It was gorgeous. And I just, I don't want to sit on wax for that long um, to have it only last a few hours. Like if it's going to be, I don't mind aging my wax. I have so much wax, I don't mind doing that. But I need it to perfor perform better if I if I do spend the time aging it. And this one just didn't, didn't do it for me. Loved the scent. Absolutely loved it. So probably not ever purchased though because of the performance. That one was Teacher's Pet. Next, I did another one from my friend Emily. This is from that Smell Good shop, and I was so excited to try this because I've never tried anything from that Smell Good shop, um, except for a couple, I think Emily sent another couple things from her as well. This one is pumpkin apple butter. So fresh pumpkin, ripe apples, and churned butter. So there's that one. This one was little orange and yellow squares, and like they're like the perfect size little squares, they're like the size of about one Scentsy cube. And I just kind of spread those throughout my warmers. I did the full six. So I did some warmers with one, some warmers with two to use the six in my open layout. Yeah, and this was very nice. It was kind of a nice classic, traditional pumpkin apple scent with like a little bit of a bakery tone to it, which I really enjoyed. I would say it was like a light medium in my house, like maybe a four out of 10, maybe four, four and a half. And like a one dare, but like a nice solid 12 hours, like morning to evening type scent. So that was very, very nice. I enjoyed the heck out of that. So thank you, Emily, that was a good one. Then last room in the house is our bedroom. I had done a mix that I saw my friend Melissa over here on YouTube suggest. She had suggested equal parts, Palo Santo and cinnamon to vanilla barn wood. Now I took that idea and tweaked it just a bit for myself. I went two cubes vanilla barn wood to one cube Palo Santo and cinnamon. To my nose, vanilla barn wood is on the lighter side. Palo Santo and cinnamon is a good solid medium in my home. So I went one cube of this because it's stronger, two cubes of this because it's on the lighter side. And I wanted an even balance. So two to one in the same warmer. Oh my gosh, it was so good. Again, this was an exceptional mix. Good nose, Melissa, recommend. I will do this mix again. I would strongly recommend if you have these bars on hand that you try it as well. So again, Palo Santo and Cinnamon is currently available. It's available all season. Vanilla Barnwood is gonna be a holiday collection bar. This one is coming out October 1st. So you'll be able to get your hands on this one October 1st. These two mixed together was wonderful. Palo Santo and Cinnamon is kind of a like spicy, spicy, sophisticated, bergamotty bright scent. Vanilla Barnwood is cuddly, cozy, soft. Vanilla, vanilla cashmere. So you get your, this is just like pottery. It, it smells like pottery barn. Like you've got your cozy, cuddly blankets and throw pillows and vanilla candles. And then you have the like wood furniture and like the like very elegant, sophisticated side mixed with like, the cuddly, cozy side. It was so good. Highly recommend. That was very nice. Lasted a good 24 hours, maybe a bit longer. And I would say like a four to 10 in strength. Then I did Best in Snow. There was an evening where I had quite a headache. And so I just wanted something kind of minty. So Best in Snow was traditionally kind of like my not feeling well bar. So I have a few of this one. This one is like peppermint and spearmint. It's just very soft, very mellow. It is mellow mint. So this one was kind of just what I needed that night. It is not overly strong. Um, it's just kind of a nice, soft, mellow mint. And I really enjoyed that. So that was nice. Um, yeah, there's not a whole lot to say about this one. It's kind of like a average performer, maybe a light medium, uh, 24 hours, and just kind of a mellow minty scent. Very, very nice, not currently available. I had this in my club for a long time. I did end up taking it out because we do have Perfect Peppermint in the catalog, but I do really like this one for if you're not feeling well. Perfect Peppermint works well for that too though. Then I did a whole bunch of vendor wax in our room. I did Sugared Violets and Angel Cake. This is a Teddy Bees one that I got in the last ready to ship order. This one is Sugared Violets and White Cake topped with vanilla whipped cream. This one is pretty. This one is like a, there is a bakery white cake note here. There's also a bright, almost fruity smelling floral. Um, Something about the sugared violets to my nose reads fruity. Almost like melon, like honeydew or or watermelon or something like that. Um, it's very, very pretty though. Very soft, uh, not very strong. I did one cube of this in our bedroom. This was like a like four or five hour type scent at like a light medium, maybe three or four to 10 in strength intensity. 
So not super strong, not super long lasting. Very pretty scent, probably not one I would get more of. Um, there are Teddy B scents I love more than this and that perform better for me. So that one is beautiful. I'll enjoy the rest of it, but not ever purchase. Next, I have a sample here from my friend Becky of Radiant Leaves from Sassy Girl Aroma. This is Macintosh Apple, Smoky Maple, and Caramel. This was lovely. Oh my gosh. So this one, when I first got this from Becky, I think last fall, this was like very like leafy, like like kind of like Bath and Body Works leaves type smell. It has sat for a bit and it is stunning. Oh my gosh. So this one, like it was definitely apple and like caramel apple, like caramel apple, lots of vanilla here though, like very creamy, very smooth. Um, the smokiness was not smoky, it was just kind of rich. This was gorgeous. So if you have radiant leaves in your stash from Sassy Girl Aroma, take it out, it's so good. Um, and if you see that come back in a uh, pre-order, grab some and, and stick it away, because that is beautiful. So that was a great performer too. That was like 24 hours and did very well. So there's that one. Um, yeah, would, would love more of that. We'll probably get more of that in the future if I see it. Then I did a bit of Rage from Sassy Girl Aroma, another gift from my friend Becky. This is Rustic Lodge Blueberry Muffin Toasted Marshmallow and Whipped Cream. And the wax pool on this was like almost black because it's like a dark purpley brown. So it ended up being a very cool wax pool. This one is just sweet and apple-y. I guess, I guess it's not apple, it's blueberry muffin. Okay, okay. Yeah, I still smell apple. Um, I do smell blueberry muffin, but I also smell apple. Maybe that's part of Rustic Lodge, I don't know. Um, toasted marshmallow, yes. Lots of marshmallow here. It is soft and gooey and delicious. It's like bakery and fallish and just wonderful. So that is Rage. It sounds like kind of a like dark and scary blend, but it's really just a very fluffy marshmallowy, fruity scent. It's, it's lovely. Um, that one's very good. So thank you, Becky. Next is one that I ordered from Sassy Girl Aroma the last time I ordered from her. This is Graceful Gatsby. And I believe this is available this weekend as well in the pre-order. This is apple, caramel, mulled cider, sweet cinnamon, blueberry, and zucchini. This is the best one I've ever melted from Sassy Girl. This one is probably one of the best things I've melted this month. This is fantastic. I did four cubes of this in our bedroom. And my husband, who rarely comments on wax at this point, was like, that is good. What is that? And uh, yeah, this one's wonderful. Like just wonderful. On warm, it was mostly like caramel apple. You got a little bit of zucchini bread, especially towards day two, as everything else wore off. The cinnamon here is not spicy. You did get some blueberry for sure that added like a nice bright fruitiness. The cider was here, like just kind of that mulled cideriness. It was gorgeous. If you ever see Graceful Gatsby, it is available this weekend. I highly recommend this one. I would order multiple brittles of this if I was ordering again, and I probably will order again in the future. Then I had done, and that was like a 24 hour. It did not last beyond like one evening. So I guess not even 24 hours. Well, I'd say like 18. I could smell it for part of the next day. Um, next, lastly, we have Teddy Bee's Wax I Heart Vanilla Blackberry. And I picked this one up in the last, uh, I think pre-order. That's when I got this one. This is Creamy Vanilla Marshmallow, Vanilla Milkshake, Boardwalk Marshmallow, and Juicy Blackberries. The blackberry here is kind of the star with all the vanillas. Yes, so I smell definitely marshmallow. I definitely smell blackberry. And I almost smell something kind of cakey, but maybe it's just one of the vanillas. Maybe it's the milkshake. It's not a super milky milkshake though, and I appreciate that. Um, this is beautiful. This was gorgeous, absolutely beautiful. Nice vanilla blackberry type scent. Not a harsh, not a tart blackberry. Very smooth, very, very, very pretty. Very soft blackberry. Loved it. Performance was like five hours again. So this one was very short duration. You could only smell it for a few hours. And I would say like maybe a four to 10. Like it was a, it was almost a medium, respectable, respectable throw, um, but very, very short duration on this one. So maybe it needs to sit a bit longer, um, but I'm, I might repurchase this. I'm, I might not, I'm not sure. But I hope this gets a bit longer lasting with time because um, it is very, very pretty. The one thing I will say is that the warmer in my bedroom is an element warmer and those don't get as hot as the bulb warmers. So I do feel Teddy Bee's Wax performs better in my open layout because I do have bulb warmers and usually like fairly strong bulb warmers 
in my open layout. So that could be why I'm finding her performance struggles in my bedroom is because even though it's a smaller space, I only have the one warmer in there and it is an element warmer and it's only like eight or nine watts. So I think that's the reasoning, but that's a very good scent. And that is everything I've warmed over the last, I guess, week, eight, nine days, somewhere in there. So I hope that was helpful. So last video I had asked to hear about your favorite Halloween candies and I had such fun reading through the comments and seeing what everyone's favorites are. So this time I want to hear your favorite fall coffee drink order or your favorite fall tea drink order. Whatever your favorite fall drink choice is, I would love to hear it below. For me, I'm usually a pumpkin spice latte, just straight up pumpkin spice latte person. That's normally my thing. I've only had one this year. I'm just not feeling them. What I've really been getting from Starbucks lately is the um, shaken espresso oat milk and apple crisp thing. Latte? Ice, it's iced anyways. It is apple crisp and oat milk latte. Shaken. Shaken espresso. It's an espresso. That's what it is. It's not a latte. It's a, it's a shaken espresso. It is so good. I love that drink. I've had like five or six of those this season. It's excellent. So if you haven't tried the, um, what do you call it? Apple crisp oat milk shaken espresso. That's the one. If you haven't tried that yet, I highly recommend it. That has been my drink order of choice this season for, for fall. Um, but I do love a good pumpkin spice latte as well. So that's what I've got for today. I would love to hear your drink order below, see what I should try. I, I usually go very basic at Starbucks. I only ever get like what's on the menu. I never get like cold foam or extra pumps of anything or like, or change up my drink order. So if you have any ideas below, I would love to hear them. Thanks so much for watching. I will talk to you guys in the next video. See you next time. Bye-bye.